on the left side, spawn as the blue team here on Dragonshire. They are Arthas, Throidum, and we have Shibakte on Felstead, Stock playing Tyrael, Kunichin playing Uther, Andy Landy playing Nazebo, and soloing the top lane, War on Brightwing. And on the right hand side in the red trunks, it is Araragi on the Tychus, it is Zarmony on the Arthas. Uh, it is going, I think that is Beezy <laughs> on the Tassadar, Linked is on the Rhaegar, and in the bot lane, it is Bakery on the Sergeant Hammer, and together they are SK Gaming. Bakery really loves the Sergeant Hammer. Bakery loves whatever good assassin he can get. <laughs> that is true. Bakery will stay in the bot lane. So far, none of these teams have lost out on any XP. And they're trying this uh, same same style again, where you want to get a kill early on, or at least clear off this lane really fast, and then go back to your lanes. Yeah, just uh, you keep the talent screen up permanently <laughs> for me, please. I can. I can. Oh, Sergeant Hammer is in trouble. Kunishan trying to get on top of her. There's a stun. Stock trying to do something here, but no, Bakery does get away with that boost. And will stay safe here, but it's four heroes in this lane, and now Link coming in to help. So does Beezy, and there's the Oracle just to scout out, okay, these guys are on the run, and Aragi will step back here, try to say something. Yeah, the four heroes we saw, like you said, in the bottom lane is due to the strategy we were talking about earlier, where a team will run all four heroes into the mid lane on Dragon Chariot, and because it's so close to the bot lane, they will clear up an entire wave to get the lane pushed and steal some ammo, and then they will roll their way down to the bot lane to kill off that as well, and then they will split up. And they should, in theory, get two waves before they, without losing any XP. Yeah, that's how it should work in theory. Um, and I think it did work out, because both of these teams are pretty much dead even as far as the experience game goes. Bottom Shrine will get under control here for SK Gaming. Um, for some reason it didn't switch that forward, sorry. Okay, hopefully they should be fine now. And they're getting pushed quite hard here in the mid lane. Andy, of course, just pushing out the damage on that tower. Oh, Link coming in. But not really, not really doing all that much. But they have shifted now towards that mid lane. Looks like Araragi might be able to take control of the shrine. Nope. They regain control. Down in the bot lane, Uther was responsible for this. Yep. And right now, like you said, bottom trying in favor of uh, Arthas there. And Ufa going to try and contest this with Link. And should be able to chase him out. But having a look at the talents, we're looking fairly standard. Except for the double protective shield coming from Brightwing and Ufa. A very defensive lineup they're going for. They do not want to get caught out. Just extra protection for maybe Tyrael as he tries to dive in. Maybe, t uh, maybe Nazibo if he gets engaged upon. Yeah, that's just a really, really sustainable composition with them. And with the double support and double protective shield. Um, we'll have to see how it works out in these uh, later team fights when you really can dish up the damage when Tychus is there, Sergeant Hammer, uh, and of course Tassel are just dishing it out. Ooh, Arthur's going down. This might uh, this might give Uther a chance to regain control here, but ooh, Linked getting stunned, but it's not going to be enough. They are pushed back a little bit, and Kumchan coming back out again. Have some solid control on the shrine though. Yep, they should be able to hold this for a while. Kunichan, like you said, taking quite a few hits here. He's not gonna be able to defend this very well. And this is the strategy this is the other strategy we've seen a lot tonight of using a sergeant hammer in any kind of lane to just hold take out all the towers in the lane and then it will probably rotate to the mid lane and do the exact same there. However, as you can as you are showing the audience, the mid lane Currently, quite a lot of damage has been done to it on SK's side, so they're actually going to take a lot of damage while Sergeant Hammer makes the time to rotate. Yeah, uh, do you want to go over the level 7 talents here? Yep, have a look on the level 7 talents. I'm assuming that's the boomerang. Yes, it is. Boomerang means you can reactivate it. It's extra burst damage. This is all that Falstad is about nowadays. Just get any damage you can. The uh, the battle momentum on the Tyrael, very standard. There's the first Dragonite of the game. Over to Beezy. Brightwing with the ability activated heal, cleanse on Ufa, and Gibbon, fairly standard abilities from pretty much everyone here. Just extra duration, extra explosion radius on Toads. It's almost exactly what we'd expect from everyone. Yeah, and SK is going for a split push here. Beezy doing a little bit of damage in the mid lane, but it's four heroes versus just three. So he's trying to move back and uh, he needs to watch out. I mean, they could come in and uh, dish out additional damage whenever. 
Pro kicking back Felstead. So now we have four <laughs> heroes in this lane, and they can finally go for that gate. Power will fall. They give them a little bit of an experience boost here, and they will probably get that gate too. Once that gate is gone, they can actually go and apply some pressure to these heroes. Akri staying back. They're playing this really safe. Only five more seconds in the Dragon Knight, so he's just gonna get one more flame breath on the bot lane, and that's about it here. Yep, should be fine, but this that extra frame breath is obviously going to help the push coming down. Bakery, going to get a protect, going to get a Tasta shield on him. He'll be able to take down this last remaining tower in this bot lane, and then he'll likely begin his rotation up to the mid lane. On the side of SK, though, some of the talent choices are a bit more interesting. For example, on Tychus, we're seeing him focus a little bit more on his grenades. We have the quarterback, which increases the range of his grenade. Now, this is focused at Nazibo purely to just interrupt him when he uses ult from much further away, seeing as they don't actually have that much CC on their team as it is, apart from uh, Sergeant Hammer's knockback mines. Oh, they're coming into the siege camp. I think... Oh, I think they need to just, they need to get out of here, though. Oh, they're taking the siege camp, and there comes the rogue out of linked. He's taken out, and stalk. Can he get away? It looks like he can. Brightwing is also taken out here. And Marsha uh, is rooted like down, but they don't have a follow-up to this. Comes the route onto Zarmini, but they're not going to chase this into the fort. Uh, it's about time to back off. Did their damage, but one for one. So, need to get back to kill these sea giants. Yep, going to be clearing that up best they can. So, yeah, going to get a bit of harassment onto Bakery, but Bakery still very safe in the back there. Ultimates are now available for, e for everyone on every team. And it is very standard from everyone, nothing out of the ordinary at all. The only yep. thing we sometimes see variation on is Blink Heal and Emerald Wind, but Emerald Wind has been taken here to try and disengage, because this is quite an engaging team with Arthas and Tychus. And we sometimes see the Mighty Gust on Falstad if there's Nazibo on the other team, but since they have Nazibo, they are pretty safe. Yep. Um, otherwise, I would have liked to see um, the Gust. <laughs> I like we've only seen it once. Uh, we've only seen it once, but it's only see it was basically because there was an assassin left and Nazibo was picked and that yeah. was the perfect counter to it. Activate the shrines. Take the dragon <laughs> like, that's all it really is, it's not that useful otherwise, other than disengage. The hinterland bath is just so much better in terms of damage. Yeah, and also nice to uh, take down heroes that are already quite low. Ooh, Aragi yeah. and Zamni need to take out these bruises, they're doing a little bit of damage on the on the walls here. But it looks like they can. Top shrine should be taken for them. Bottom Shrine is currently in the control of SK Gaming, and Arthas is trying to chase them off. So they need to go for that Top Shrine, otherwise uh, Dragon Knight could go to Arthas here. This is very true. The potential is there. Currently in the mid lane, it is Andy Lendy trying to do it, but Araragi is going to be able to chase him out of here. Doing a good job, there comes Crit Rise onto him. But now we have three heroes again. Three versus three. Uh, both of them on even levels. Top lane will, or top shrine will be captured here by Arthas, so that Dragon Knight is not gonna be, not gonna be another danger, but Arthas is in trouble, Stark is coming for him, so is Andy and Kunichan, and he's getting so much burst onto him, there comes another stun, Warcom is coming in, CC, and Zarmini getting the Ancestral Healing out, wow, that really saved him here, really yep. good Ancestral Healing coming out of Linked. Yep, very, very well played there, and we actually have the Chain Heal upgrade for the level 13 talent on the Rhaegar, the Healing Surge, which is gonna be even nicer here, just that extra healing, and the multiple Relentlesses coming on Arthas and Tychus, just for some kind of semblance of escape when uh, Tyrael is, uh, does come onto their face, and the classic Shrink Ray, Alitasta, just for extra protection in case of Falstad. Double rewind on Brightwing and Nazebo. So, it's gonna help out quite a bit now. Yeah. Uh, looks like they can regain control of the spot shrine now. Top shrine will be taken by Arthas again, so not going to be too uh, too troublesome for them or either team to take that Dragon Knight. And easy trying to contest this down here, but they can't really get an opening right now. They still need that fourth player, and now that fourth player coming in for Team Arthas, so they can keep control down here. And we'll see another rotation here pretty soon, I would assume. Zebo already taken mid lane. But Arthas and Tychus are just waiting out, waiting out for them. Yep, they want to try and get any kind of pickoff. Currently, kill count is in favor of Arthas here. But like you said, the shrines are just going back and forth here. Both teams really want this Dragon Knight. We are seeing Arthas make his way up to the top lane. 
to try and get some kind of wave clear and a little bit of an XP buff for his team. Yeah, he's returning there, but Nazebo is on his back. Um, yeah, I, I think against Nazebo he can't really do all that much. Now Dwarf's coming in as well. Um, Dwarf will probably go for that top shrine. Yes, he will. Regain, regain control of that. We'll see a complete rotation here out of SK. They totally want to go for that bottom shrine uh, once again. And they need to stop the sea shrines that were captured by Arthas. And both shrines are in control of Arthas now. Oh, there's a big team fight. The Royal has been popped for Zarmini. But they're not really getting in here. They're all over the place. Yeah, they, so it was sort of the fight started and then ended with uh, Nazibo going down. Oh, there's another ancestral healing onto Bakery. Staying alive, staying alive for now. Pushing Kunichan back. And War with the with the wins. Keeping Bakery on the back side there. But now he's caught out. Zomni body blocking him. Will be able to take him out. Yes. Tychus can get that final shot in, and Unishan, he's in trouble as well, getting a few shots by Bakery, and Link takes him out here in the end. But well, that's 2 for 0, and gives an edge here. They could go for the Dragonite, 27 seconds on right wing to come back. Now, I think that should be enough time for them to at least go for that Dragonite. Link has actually been doing a very good job with his chases, considering that he did not take the Feral Lunge as his level 13 talent, like we said taking the Surge heal instead, which is helping his team very well. But he's doing a good job of chasing anyway. Ooh, Stark trying to stop this, and it wasn't Ooh, enough. Late. Just barely not enough here. So the mid forward will definitely go down. Zarmi already laying down the flaming breath. And Bakery just giving some supporting fire from the back. Staying safe there. Kassadar is taking down this bottom lane and uh, just using his Oracle to um, check out whenever uh, they might switch lanes. But I think... Uh, he should probably join his team. Oh, Zomini is coming down. Yeah, the lane's coming to the him. Next, next forwards. Next forward is up for grabs. Level 16 talents. Stone skin on both Tychus and Arthas. Very similar talents out of them from after level 10. Very similar indeed. Tassadar, I believe that is that double storm or is that slow storm? I cannot see. It's the same icon. Uh, second strike, yep. Second strike, yeah. And we have the root out of Rhaegar. And that's pretty much definitely going to be Hover Siege out of Bakery. Just to make sure he can get some maneuverability when he gets engaged upon while sieged. Yeah, Zamini putting out another Flaming Breath just to stop uh, Arthas there. But then, with then, he drops out of the Dragon Knight. Meanwhile, uh, Tychus was doing some good job just pushing the top lane. Did a little bit of damage here on the on these towers. Not all of the towers are gone quite yet, but still, I think uh, I think they're doing quite well here. Should probably check out uh, some of the siege damage. Oh yeah, 73,000 for Tychus. Not bad at all. Versus 50,000 for Nazebo. Yeah. Uh, definitely doing about quite the same well as for uh, Tazdar, in fact. Baker, it, we've got uh, three heroes above 50, sorry, four heroes above 50k siege damage. Nazibo, Sergeant Hammer, Tassadar, and Tychus, all of them just wrecking minions and buildings. Yeah. But they're quite behind on, on healing. Is this, so is this true? I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that they're actually doing so well in these team fights, uh, considering that they're. Um, Facing the double double support combo. Oh, That's the thing. Nishan caught out here on the left side. So is Zarmini. There comes the engagement out of Aragi, and he's caught in there alongside Stark. Into the blast comes in. Zarmini is healed back up. There comes the fertilizer onto him and the focus fire. He should go down here if they're gonna force chase, but no, he turns back around. And now it's Arthas that's being pushed back. War is incredibly low. Link being healed up. And looks like there's this there's a disengage. No one really gets a team kill or gets a kill here. Really good yeah. engagement for both teams. Yep, yeah, very nice there. Zarmini able to get out thanks to the heals from Rhaegar and the very well-placed healing totem, which was able to keep him alive in that fight. And like you said, turned around, was able to force back the rest of Team Arthur's. Very well fought by SK from what could have been a very dangerous scenario. Oh, yeah. And very well played by Araragi there. Perfect timing on that Odin to prevent any damage from the hinterland. Not sure it would have hit him anyway, but still good timing to put protect himself from any kind of burst. Oh, Kunichan was rooted there, but uh, did go for the cleanse. And doesn't look like uh, SK really wants to go for this fight just yet. Ford is halfway down. Probably waiting for the engagement here once once the heroics are back up. Then we'll see what they can do. Quite Bakery possibly. kind of low on mana, so... Not too important for Sergeant Hammer. Yeah, it's alright, it's alright. 
You do want to have a couple of napalm specs available though. It's true. You need to make sure you have at least one set for mines and one set for a knockback. And the oh, there comes the engagement onto Baker. He's being pushed back as well, but first aid comes in. He's still fine. Stock out out there on the left side. But there comes the CC onto Link and Beezy and another follow up here with the ancestral spill. Beezy is healed back up, but Link is in trouble. Can he get away? Yes, he can. And trying to pull this back together. Good zombie wall, keeping Bakery and Link back. And here comes the Odin form, but I think they need to disengage. They lost Arthas with that, with their main tank gone. I think they should pull back. Now, I am really enjoying the play here out of SK because they are making up for their lack of heals for, uh, compared to a double support comp by replacing them with shields. We have the shields on stone skins, we have the shield on Tastar, and we have the shield on the lightning shield from Rhaegar. They're just shielding themselves up to block the damage from the Ravenous Spirit as much as possible, and they're doing a very good job of it. Um, doing quite a jo good job indeed. Pop Shrine has been captured by SK. They also went for the bruisers here. Uh, or just checking the bruisers? No, they didn't go for the bruisers. Um, I don't know why they really re rallied there. Link needs to watch out. There comes another judgment onto Link. Dwar coming in. Bakery with a nice pushback, and Link gets out of there. Uh, just in time for, this, for his team to catch back up and get back into this mid lane. All, they still have all forts up, and Arthas already took quite a bit of damage on their forts. Yes, it's true. SK, they seem to be getting quite even in team fights with Team Arthas, but they seem to be winning in most other scenarios. Like you said, they've got more Dragon Knights overall, and they're doing a better job with taking mercenaries and doing damage to Team Arthas buildings. Arthas just went for their own bruisers, and they're trying to gather up here in this mid lane. But not really trying to go for that bot shrine just yet. Oh, good, good napalm strike. And there's a root on Kunichan, but they're turning back. They're turning back around. Really don't want to engage this just, just yet. They could though. Judgment is still on cooldown. This would be the best time they want to engage, but the, re the issue with that is when Judgment comes back up partway through a fight, yeah. and that assassin that you've just spent your time healing and shielding suddenly gets re-engaged upon when he's already at low health trying to run away. Yeah, that is true. Um, usually you would want to wait for Tyrael to make that move, and then you just um, hit your heroics. And they also have to defend those bruises in the top lane, uh, have to defend their fort in mid, but they still have all their forts up, so they're still in a pretty good spot and almost hit level 20. And with level 20, they could force another team fight here, especially with I, those bruisers now on the way. I think they have to. They need to force another team fight and they need to focus Ufa. Because Ufa is going to be the biggest problem when they hit level 20, because Divine Hurricane will annihilate them. They won't mm -hmm. be able to get, if they can't get heals off in time to save someone, they are in serious trouble. So this is when they'll have to force a fight. Having a look at the level 20 talents. We have the upgrades on ults for everyone, except for Rhaegar, who, the correct decision, I think, they're already focusing on shields quite a lot, throwing out the Storm Shield. Yep, and um, we'll have to see what Tychus is going for. It, it'll probably be big button. Yeah, yep. there it is. Big red button, indeed. And the, those gates are just melting away. So will the keep if, um, if Arthas is not getting here. I think they will just get the keep for free. Only Dwarves in position. And instead, they're just uh, going for the keep on... On SK's side, oh, SK going also for going it. for it. Better wow. stop being, they need to, they really need to be. That's a lot of damage. Odin is here, big red button, pulling in Emerald Wind, pushing him back. Oh, Why am I doing that? coming up show. onto Odin, Aragi incredibly low, but the Ancestral Healing might not save him, though it doesn't. GG. And it doesn't really matter. GG. SK Gaming takes this and moves on to the Grand Final.